principal's journey, navigating the path to school of leadership. Um, tell me like, you know, two, two things that, you know, have maybe resonated with readers um, that you see is like really connecting because th this book is something I think is, first of all, I think it's unique. I, I, I don't know of a book that's, which is wonderful, right? Because, you know, there's a lot of things you just don't know as you're going into that role and you can, you know, you know, you, you, you kind of are like immersed in it all of a sudden and you feel like, uh, I don't know what's going on. And so I, I love that you kind of are building people up to that. So like what has resonated with the people that have read it that have connected with like, what, what do you think stands out to them? Yeah. So I think in reading the reviews, I think that people like the fact that it's step-by-step. -step. I yeah. really tried to tell a story as I was going through my career. I included like checkpoints and important things that I've learned along the way. So there, there's a lot of personalization there, but also the fact that the readers after every chapter have time and space to reflect and actually answer questions that are related to each chapter that's personalized for them. So it becomes almost like a diary. So right. I think that's a very um, special part of the book that in the future, people can look back and say, wow, this was, these were some of the things I was working on and now they're coming to fruition. So I definitely think that um, those are the two aspects that I hear the most about that people like the personalized stories and they like the personalization yeah. for themselves. Yeah, I think that's, that's a really important aspect because uh, your journey is your journey and there's things I can learn from it, but, you know, going to a totally different school, you know, like as someone who spent you know, the majority of his life in Canada, probably, you know, being where I was in Canada versus where you are in Maryland is, you know, very different. So there's things I could pick up from you, but ultimately in this, like, I don't know if you've ever picked up innovators mindset. The whole premise of the innovators mindset is like, what do you do with what you know? Don't just say like, Hey, Dr. Rachel says this, so I'm going to do this, right? right. You have to kind of still know your community. You have to kind of know where you're at and where you go. The, the thing that I thought about um, when you're ex explaining your book is, uh, and I, I always default because she is the best leader I ever had. Her name's Kelly Wilkins. Um, she, I, uh, when I applied for my first principalship, uh, she, I asked her about my resume and how it should look to apply for this. And she said, go find the leadership standards of the district, which she was actually, you know, the superintendent of, and, <laughs> you know, and, and then show how you're meeting the standards as a teacher already. So you're like, mm -hmm. Hey, I've already, I'm already, what you expect the principal is I'm already doing this yeah. in my current role. So her, it, like the way I always Great advice. Was, was, um, actually like dress to the job you want, not the job you have. That's like how I always kind of thought about that. Yeah. And so like, you even mentioned some of the, like the logistical, like even cover letters and things like that. Like, so like, what are like one or two takeaways like of that, of some of that, you know, just kind of getting the job in the first place. Like how, mm -hmm. what do you talk about with the book? So for that? the cover letters, I talk about researching the district, yeah. knowing what is the vision um, and mission of the districts that you are applying to. We know that many people may apply to more than one district. So yeah. what may be appropriate for one district may not be appropriate for another. So we have to know that. Um, I also talk about um, making sure your resume is updated. Um, what happens over time is we have all these experiences, yeah. but if we're not regularly updating them, we forget about things. And there's probably important things that we're leaving off. So I know for myself, whenever I have a new experience, I take two minutes, I open up the resume, I add a bullet point, and then I date it, post date it the date of, and then that's it. So I never am um, like you, your resume has to be ready. Yeah. That's what I just say. So if someone asks me today, can you provide an updated resume? Yes, it's right here. I don't have to spend time making it because I've been updating it along the way. Right. So that's part of the advice that I give to, to the readers.